TMR really appreciates that the, the traveling public moving through sites are often the eyes and ears as well um, in terms of reporting hazards and the like. So um, TMR has a, a phone number 13 19 40 that uh, if drivers observe a hazard that they think uh, may not be known, um, that's one of the options that um, we, we always appreciate um, the public being able to phone through those things. The TMR addresses that really quickly. We've got a call center that takes those calls. Um, we have 24 hour contacts uh, specifically related to um, the site uh, and we typically dispatch them quite quickly. Within an hour, we'd like to be at these sorts of, uh, to attend those sorts of hazards um, and, and rectify. The other option as well is if it's an active construction site at the time, we mentioned earlier that Channel 45 was another um, option for, for, for um, drivers to, to inform the, the site. Um, Bill, one thing I wanted to talk about as well in the Cunningham's Gap project site itself is because we've narrowed the road corridor, we're really, we're back to two lanes here and um, it's quite a constrained site. In the event that a heavy vehicle breaks down, you know, we immediately have a blockage on the highway. It's very difficult for trucks to get around. In particular, we've got some of the steepest grades we're coming up, up to now. So this project site will have something we call a mandatory tow to safety. Yes. So that's basically where TMR um, uh, will move vehicles to a point of safety if they break down, yes. including heavy vehicles. So we have contracts in place with heavy vehicle tow um, operators um, for, for urgent dispatch, if you like, to yes. assist. So in the event that a heavy vehicle breaks down uh, at the Cunningham's Gap project site, um, we immediately will uh, send a dispatch uh, notification for heavy vehicle haulage. And really what we're trying to do is move the vehicle out of the way so that we can get traffic moving again. That's it. Now, one of the concerns we know with the heavy vehicles is that they often have their own mechanics or they might have their own um, crews to attend to yeah. rectify trucks. Now, the, the vehicle is relocated to a very nearby point of safety. And we've got two at this site. We've got one on the western side of the mountain, one on the eastern side. Okay. Um, we relocate um, heavy vehicles to those points. Um, there's services there. We make sure they've got phone reception, um, toilet facilities, water, food if they need it. Uh, and it's a safe place really for heavy vehicles to go uh, and wait for a mechanic to arrive and assist them. Yep. Oh, that's great. That's good news because, you know, the, unfortunately, you know, motors are motors or engines are engines, so you'll always have a failure over something. So it's good to have those plans in place you know, for recovery for a heavy vehicle. Um, and you have a lot of weight in, the, you know, in our vehicles going over these mountains. So, there, yeah, we need to make sure we've got that reinsurance so we can keep the lanes open. In the same token, everybody must be patient. Like, if you've got to break a truck down or a broken vehicle down, yeah, we've just got to be patient. You know? There will be times where there'll be a truck broken down up here on top of a hill, and yeah, you know, the road is blocked, so yeah. just got to wait.